Hi, I'm Maria Diaz, and I'm a Hoboken fire captain, and this is how I work it. I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. I was actually the first Latina hired in Hudson County, New Jersey. I've been a firefighter for almost 20 years. I was promoted in 2011, so that's about nine and a half, almost 10 years as a fire captain. As a captain, you have a house that you supervise with a bunch of different firefighters, and you lead them into a fire, and you let them know what they have to do when we arrive on the scene. Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. and I'm about to get my day started. It's 6.30 a.m. right now. I just finished my stretching and a little bit of meditation, so. so it's shower time. I am washing my hair, conditioning, combing it in here. And then I apply some leave-in weed dye. It's a great product for curls. It keeps them from being frizzy. On the days that I'm on shift, my uh, beauty routine is pretty simple. We just try not to wear anything that's flammable. We don't wear perfume. We don't wear heavy lotions. My beauty routine is just a little bit of lipstick and a little bit of oil-free moisturizer. Today's hairstyle is brought to you by Pinterest. I just don't have time to do my hair in the morning when I'm on shift, but it has to be tied back. Flyaways. Almost out the door, headed to work. Today's outfit is brought to you by HFD. It's definitely not uh, glamorous or sexy, but um, it is practical. I'm about to add some Mario Badescu facial spray. And this is the outfit, pretty much. This is my shirt. My pants are brought to you by 511 and my boots. My hours at work are 24 hours on and 72 hours off. I work two 24-hour tours a week. I work for the city of Hoboken, which is a very small town. It's probably about one square mile, but the uh, population is over 50,000. Very charming, but also very busy. We average about 3,000 calls a year on an everyday basis. We respond to 10 to 15 calls. The calls vary from gas leaks to motor vehicle accidents, people get stuck in elevators, emergency medical calls, lost pets, lockouts, injured parties, construction sites where, you know, someone's gotten injured, breaching calls, breaking and breaching. We've responded to mental illness calls. We've responded to suicide calls, suspicious packages, a lot of suspicious packages. <laughs> And obviously, you know, we respond to any working fires. It takes a lot of courage and I risk my life every single day that I go into the firehouse. And there it is. Between 7 and 7.45, all the guys start showing up to the firehouse. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> and that is Firefighter Perez. Good morning. They start getting debriefed from the group before. Good morning, Peggy, how are you? and about 8 a.m. is when the tones go off. The tones is kind of the beginning of our shift. After the tones go off, we check all of our equipment. So that means checking our Scott packs. This is what provides oxygen when we're like in a fire. This is one of the reasons why we don't put any type of oils or a lot of lotion on our face because this has a seal that has to be able to kind of suction into your face. Okay, it's working. Making sure the tools are in the rigs. Making sure that our batteries are charged for all of the equipment that we have. For gas meter, this is a regular sunset meter, and this is my tick camera, which the officer carries. Like when something is hot, it turns white. And then after breakfast is housework. Our firehouse, they have to be cleaned out. They have to be sanitized. This is part of our quarters. We're about to clean up. And then it's usually back to training from 1 to 3 p.m. At about 4 p.m., I usually get a workout in. I love working out in a firehouse. I love working out with my coworkers because they really do push me. They make sure that I don't underestimate myself. We have this camaraderie, I think, because we have to trust each other. This is a job where our life depends on each other. What is the number one killer firefighter, guys? Heart attack. Heart attack is the number one killer of firefighters, only because this job is very physically demanding and you go from like zero to 60 really fast on any given call. 
Another thing is a high rate of cancer. We are usually in an environment where there's a lot of toxic fumes and our fire trucks, they get diesel fuel. So the fire trucks are pretty much in our living space. The fumes are kind of all over the place, although the department in the city try to keep it under control with some exhaust, it's still lingering in the air. One of the questions that I get asked often is, what is it like working with men? It definitely is a little different. There is a lot of uh, firehouse humor, some dark humor, obviously, because of some of the things that we see on the job. There's a lot of pranks going around, going on in the firehouse. Plenty of sports talk. But uh, for the most part, we are kind of like a family. I spend more time with the uh, firefighters than I do with my family sometimes. After my workout, it's dinner time. So we just finished shopping for lunch and dinner. So all of it is, is pretty great. And then, boom, that's what happens in the firehouse. <laughs> this is why people have a hard time losing weight sometimes. I'm not talking about. <laughs> Great feeling weird right now. My career is very physical and we do try to stay healthy as much as we can. But the issue is <laughs> that we have residents and people from the town they, who are always dropping off cookies and cupcakes. There's always all kinds of temptations in a firehouse. After dinner time, then it's usually responding to different calls. <laughs> Throughout the entire day, actually, from 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll respond on calls. There are times where I'm responding to a call as an officer, and literally somebody will be standing like right in front of me, and they'll kind of look over my head to speak to one of the other fighter fighters. And it's pretty funny because my, my co-workers, the guys know. So they'll be like, no, she's... You know, she's the officer. But then I have moments that are wonderful. I have times when I'm in a fire truck, we're going on a call and these little kids are looking at me or little girls and they're like, their eyes just open up really wide and they're like, oh my God, is that a girl on the fire truck? And that's a really great feeling. They can physically see that you can do this job. The most rewarding part of my job is being able to help the public, to be there for them when they're having probably one of their worst moments or one of their scariest moments and for us to be able to solve it for them and to see the relief on their faces is probably the most rewarding part of my job. And then my nightly routine in the firehouse is basically just maybe showering. We might sleep if we get a chance. We call them safety naps because we know <laughs> that it's not really restful sleep until we get a call in the middle of the night. After working a 24-hour shift, I usually go home and it's time to kind of decompress and get out of that fight or flight feeling that we have while we're in a firehouse. The day after the firehouse, I usually try not to schedule anything for myself. I will go home, I'll try to sleep at least two or three hours, and then I will wake up and get my day started. So my routine in the firehouse is very different from my routine at home. Moisturizing in the morning. Trader Joe's oil-free facial moisturizer. So I apply some of that. Then I use Jergens lotion that keeps my skin from being ashy. My day usually is either having some coffee, I make sure that I'm going to go work out. I do have a second job where I groom dogs. I love it. I have such a high stress job that when I'm grooming a dog, it calms me down and they make me very happy. I am grooming today, I have two appointments. Uh, this is my setup for grooming. That's some of my grooming supplies. There is Teddy, who I am about to groom. I'm hoping to maybe launch my own business next year. It's super important for me to be able to take care of myself mentally and physically. I carry equipment that's very heavy, an extra 65 to 75 pounds of gear. We have to go up the stairs, whether it's walk five, six, seven flights sometimes. With all of this heavy equipment, I try to make sure that my endurance is good. I've also ran a few 5Ks. I love running because it totally clears my mind. I had like this terrible knee pain that I just couldn't get rid of. A friend of mine suggested acupuncture, and it's probably one of the best things that I've done. So this is Nurturing Life Acupuncture. This is one of the things that I do for self-care. Um, I get weekly acupuncture. This is Bill and Lauren, <laughs> my acupuncturist. They're really great. Uh, I love the sessions here, and I'm about to get some uh, 
self-care. My knee pain after a few sessions pretty much went away and it helps with my anxiety and anything else that is going on with me mentally or physically. After that, it's usually making dinner or going out to dinner with my friends or my 26-year-old son who is an amazing kid. I do have a career that is non-traditional and it's dangerous at times. So there are moments where I worry and I just wanna make sure that I get home safe for him. Because I'm in a firehouse with men all of the time, I try to make time to spend with my girlfriends, which I love. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I get to talk about makeup, I get to talk about boys, I get to talk about all different things. For that, I really love getting dressed up. When I do get the opportunity to get dressed up, it feels amazing. If I am going to meet my girlfriends that day, I will put on a little bit more makeup than I usually do. I'm pretty simple when it comes to makeup. Here's a Fenty primer. Some concealer by Youngblood. I just try to cover that up, blend that in. Neutrogena press powder. I go for some blush. You have CoverGirl, Soft Mink. Then I curl my lashes. I use the uh, Natural Clear Mascara by CoverGirl. My favorite lip liner is NYX. Uh, I have a bunch of different products from them. And then I add my lipstick, L'Oreal Cinnamon Toast. One of my favorite colors because it's pretty neutral, but it brightens up my face just a bit. I check that and that is pretty much my makeup routine. Since I'm a shift worker and I work 24 hours a day, two days a week, sometimes it's really difficult to kind of fall asleep because I'm always in that kind of fight or flight. I was getting insomnia. For that, I have learned to do quite a few things for myself. I've done meditation right before bed. I also turn my TV off. I make sure I'm not on the phone before I go to bed. I'm very big on essential oils. These are some of the diffusers I use. This is Amico. It was recommended by my acupuncturist. It's lavender, there's cedar wood, I have eucalyptus, just various, and some candles also. I try to go to bed at the same time when I'm not on shift, which is about between 10 and 11 p.m. And I just kind of try to keep a ritual. It is 10.30 p.m. and my day is winding down. A couple of things I do for my nightly routine is wash my face, moisturize, and then Skin Medica is a product that my esthetician recommended. It's called Retinol Complex. I think it's 0.25 milligrams, so I add that to my face. And that is how I work it, and that is my routine for the evening. Thank you for coming on this journey with me, and peace out. Mm -hmm.